four autos and a metal base. Then you got an alpha tribe living in some overpowered base spot that I had no clue as to where they were. Those, those guys, they were my enemies. And that metal monstrosity you see before you is what was standing between me and them. That's what I ended my first day of wipe with. So you're probably wondering, well, Sinza, just how the hell did you get yourself in this position? For starters, let's take it from the beginning. On wipe day, I decided to give myself an extra challenge. Anyways though, so, my plan for this wipe, usually I'm always, you know, I'm always, uh, I'll stick it out on Aberration because, I mean, as a solo, I feel that's where I have the best chance of surviving. But this wipe, this wipe, I'm going to give myself a bit of a challenge. So, instead of going to the usual route, which is just, you know, chill on Aberration, this, that, this wipe, I am only allowed to stay on this map. The only map I was allowed to gather resources, acquire tames, build a base, the list goes on, was Lost Island. So that somewhat explains the hideous state my base was in, but only somewhat. I'll fill you in on the rest shortly. The fearsome enemies? As much as I'd like to take credit for dealing the first blow against a powerful tribe like this, it was actually the other way around. Oh my god. Oh, we killed him! Somehow, someway, they messed up really bad, and I was able to successfully defend. But I knew this wouldn't be the end, and to take my base progression to the next level, I looked towards raiding. But that didn't go so well. Please tell me this is 6x. It is. Oh my god. No! I ended up screwing myself over and potentially this entire wipe. That's how I ended day one with four autos and a metal base, with my only protection being the sliver of hope that my enemies and I shared the same offline timer. To cut a long story short, we did for the most part, but that's the most part, not the entirety. Alright boys, il talk ni sell to you, no more name calling. No more destroying your base. Today, we go ni Sally. You see this solo. His weakness is the offline timer. You more on attack when I was online. If we want to tie this loose end, we do this my way. Now you grab a soaker, not the big one, a soaker. And let's get a move on. You see, as a solo, the last thing you want, especially when you have as big of enemies as I do, is to be found. Because when that offline timer starts ticking, the survival of your base, and more importantly your wipe, is largely out of your control. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Great War on the Solos Island. Please make sure to leave a like and sub as it really helps me out a lot. And last but not least, enjoy the video. We're actually alive. We are actually alive, this is insane. I couldn't believe it. Looks like Wildcard had granted me another shot at this wipe. Little did I know just how much of a shot it was. Okay, so first order of business is going to be, well, getting a Maywing. We need to get the Maywing so that we can look for even more ray targets. Or I could work on the base a bit more. If I wanted to survive, I knew one way or another I'd have to do both. Work on the base, and do some raids so that I could further work on the base. But first, I needed a Maywing. What the hell is this? Oh my god! I haven't even seen anything like this in my entire time playing this game. Oh, there's a thatch base here. Yeah, they're angry. What the f- This is, uh... Interesting, to say the least. I'm- That's all the- 
whatever. Rid of. Alright, let's see. Smithy. I don't know what I was expecting, but when you see a thatch base with the smithy, it does pique one's interest. Maybe we're running away from something. Ooh, 100. Yeah, I'll grab this. Oh, to go to the foundation or gate. There's no way this thing escapes this. There's just no way. Yes. Oh, damn, you. Damn. That was quick. I was not expected to be that quick. Okay, cool. So we got this thing. You know what I'm gonna do with this thing? I'm gonna go straight to the Wyvern's car. Because I know if I do have to scout on other maps, I am going to need a better team than a Maywing to scout around on. And the Wyvern, because of this challenge that I'm doing, the Wyvern is going to be the strongest, most fierce team that I'll have in my arsenal. Unless I raid other people and then I get stuff like Desmodices and Bloodstalkers, then yeah, sure. But for the time being, the Wyvern is going to be my best bet when it comes to fights and that, so... Definitely need to get that going, get that raising immediately. And then I guess I'll get all the forges going, you know, the usual, and then I can do some scouting. See what I need to do. And then hopefully find some raid targets. 135. This one will just stash away in our base. And the third one should do it. Nice, not a bad trip. We got two Maywings. Decent levels. And we will get a Wyvern Egg now. Hopefully. The keyword there was hopefully. I did head over to the Wyvern Skull, but unfortunately my luck with the eggs wasn't that great. I'd come back later. And seeing as it was still the early morning, I decided to take advantage of the servers being quiet and do some farming. If I were to get attacked, at least I'd have some resources prepared. There's no way I'd think I, I think I just found a base with not a single turret. Oh no, I see an auto. But I just see like, oh no, I see a couple autos. About one, two, three, four. I mean, this is exactly my type of raid. This is exactly where I am. I have four autos. This guy has four autos. If I could just dash in there with a Maywing and a C4 strap to it. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for this raid. I do need to set up beds and stuff because this can get a bit wild. I'm pretty sure there's four autos watching the entrance. I could quickly tame Stego. Stego would guarantee me getting into this base. Considering what happened yesterday, I wasn't taking any risks. So once I had the Stego tamed, I headed over to the raid. I think we might be by the turrets after this. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the one I'm thinking. I'm thinking of having the stego out here. So I'll have it like about here. I'm gonna have it on neutral behavior. Attack your target. The turrets are going to shoot it, the stego's is going to run straight towards the turrets. Sort of body block. I could also have the carbo get- uh, I don't know. No way. We've done it. 
We've actually done it. No freaky way. Oh my god, let's go. I only have one C4. Oh, let's just place it here. Nice, we got the forge down. Let's get the ARB. So, so valuable. So, so valuable ARB. Nice, we got gasoline. I'm running low on that. Oh my, look at all the resources. Look at all of those resources. Look at all the forges they have. Are these just strictly charcoal? Yeah, they're, they're gonna have the metal in the industrial for Oh, my metal. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's 6-6, six, six, so these things are gonna break quick. I think I see flapping in there. Oh my, wyverns. When I have a May Wing, I can get the babies and stuff if I... If they do have any. I have to be careful though, if those things are neutral, I am so dead. Let's see what this had. Paste, which is one thing I desperately need. Mid bruise, okay. And then the fabricator, more paste, a thousand electronics? Oh, this is so huge. Alright, I'm gonna go check at the back. Oh, this is so scary. I don't know, see the player, so he must be out somewhere. And then these forges, I'm pretty sure it's just like wood and charcoal. Which, I have a bunch of charcoal back at base, so I'm not gonna grab any of that. Oh, this was so perfect. Stego is literally one shot. I'm so glad it survived because this will be the male breeder for my Stego line. I should get female tech Stegos. The day it on, I don't really care about it. Yeah, it's such a low level. It's, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it. He can have it as a gift. Oh, let's go, man. Let's freaking go. Oh, it's what I needed. I desperately needed that. Alright, home sweet freaking home. We just we just got so much. All of that metal. So much gasoline actually. We got sil silica pulse so we can make a bunch more electronics. That's gonna help us get to level 82, which will oh, look at all these electronics. All this pace. Oh, it's beautiful. I'll be able to afford a chemistry bridge. I think... Can I afford an industrial for actually polymer? Which we did get from him. Beautiful. I can actually make an industrial forge, but I want to make a chemistry bridge first. So I can make a bunch of gunpowder, so that I can make a bunch of bullets. And when I have a bunch of bullets, I can add more turrets. So I'll, like, go upwards, add more turrets, and then I can plop the industrial forge... I'm not sure how big it's going to be, but plop it eh, just on the top, I guess. That's probably going to be the best spot for it. <sighs> Can't believe that, though. That was so, so huge. Mm, yeah, I can afford that. Let me make one spray painter. I'm not ever going to use it, but... Ooh, so close. Unless now I have it, I have it. Sweet. I'll put that there. Alright, let's get the chemistry bench up and running. It's been long overdue. We're missing spark powder, which we now have over here. Chemistry bench. Boom. Beautiful. We can make a forge as well. Why not? Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. The problem that I find myself in is, how do I get cables up here? 
that can't easily be destroyed. The one idea I actually have is going right through the freaking industrial forge. That's the one idea I have right now. Just sending that cable all the way through the industrial forge. I think that might just be what I have to do. I would like to position the... Okay, so things in the crafting station that are going to move. Uh, generators are going to be there forever. So let me craft up another one. They craft up a bunch of these cables. In fact, the generator, I'd like for it to be... Probably sitting in this corner here. You can have it in this corner here. I'll move the fabricator. I'll move the crafting station. Or what I could do is move the mannequin. Yeah. The generator, I'll have it sitting in this corner. Nothing's gonna be... This is the entrance, so nothing's gonna be here. So I can pick this up. And then I'll just place... This is gonna be like my little storage room then. And I'll just have the mannequin... Like this and then we'll have that go through there now how to my I, I think there was an update so tables can't be destroyed through flame arrows outlets can I know outlets can but I believe cables cannot and if I do that no way the outlet is hidden inside yeah, I think I already, yeah, I already did these. Uh, I just got to turn them on. Oh, that's perfect. And so a sliver, just a little sliver of uh, the cable is shown through that industrial forge. But otherwise, otherwise we're looking really, really good. That was exactly what I needed. Sure, the raid wasn't anything out of the ordinary, but considering all the losses I had experienced before, it was a great change of pace. All the profit I got from it, plus those that I got from farming, I was able to upgrade my base. And the upgrades, they sure as hell didn't end there. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, this is a nice setup we have going here. We have such a beautiful setup going over here. And the only thing... So my plan is basically now, I'm not going to add any more turrets to the base. My plan is to, for, for now, to... Maybe, uh, so no more cross work. My plan is to now, turn each and every single one of these into heavies. And until then, I'll just be filling them with bullets. And I think to do that, I'm going to go ahead and tame a Megatherium. So I can run that swamp looking cave I found not too long ago. That was my next priority. Now that I had a significant amount of turrets on my base, I didn't want to focus any more time getting more of them. I needed to get heavies if I wanted to stand a chance against the Billy. So it was the Megatherium I started to look for next. Is that a lightning or a ice? Ice, ah. Oh. Now it's, you can tell it's been a while since I've actually gone for wyvern eggs of that. Ooh, 90! 90 ice. I will keep that in mind. I don't know how good ice wyverns are. Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm actually gonna grab that. No, don't hit me. Uh. Nice, we got a wyvern egg. Ooh, let's go. Okay, level 90. It's half the max level 180, but it's a wyvern, man. And I mean, it's an ice wyvern that I haven't ever actually used before, so... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how that works. 150 male megatherium. And then a 20 female that's just like perfect to give it, to give it that mate boost. So we have you, and then we have you. I need I need to make a shotgun. That's what I need to do. I need to actually make a shotgun because this ain't gonna fly. 
boom we now have an extremely high level ethereum not sure if those stats are good or not but i don't care it's a 150 and it should be able to handle whatever i throw at it Time to hatch the big boy. Ooh, look at those colors. That is such a sick looking wyvern. I'm gonna toss the milk in, yeah. Oh, that is, that one looks so cool as well. First order of business. Followed us this lowest. Followed us this lowest. Gotta get them outside of the base because I do not want them growing inside. And I'll just have them chilling over here. Oh man, let's go. I'm still I'm contemplating whether or not to use other maps to get my levels because right now. The only thing I'm waiting on before I go out to maybe get more stegos for raiding or this or that. The only thing I'm really waiting on is level 100 so I can upgrade the base to heavy so I know I'm safer. That is quite literally the only thing I'm waiting on so I'm thinking. Because the rules of the challenge is to... Basically everything that I'm allowed to use has to come from this map. So technically, that does mean I can use whatever I got on this map, in this sense, uh, the Megatherium for example, and I can run the Swamp Cave to get level 100 that way. Because technically I'm not really, I can just drop all the chitin and stuff that I get from it, so then I don't take any of the loot, any of the meat, nothing from that map. In other words, I wouldn't be breaking any of the rules of the challenge. Any resources I'd gather from killing tames, I'd simply drop, and any XP notes I'd see, I'd simply go past. However, seeing as I wouldn't have that XP boost from the island notes, I decided to craft up my own, a broth of enlightenment, along with the scuba gear needed to protect myself from the cave damage, and I was ready to go. That should protect us, we got 3 pieces scuba, 2 ghillie, that usually does it, yeah it seems to be doing it. Got the big boy. Pop this. Cave doesn't look farmed either, which is a good sign. I know there's a way you can like sprint through this section. Yeah, there we go, made it through. Just gotta remember, everything we get from here, we are not allowed to take. So I have to literally drop all of these things. Oh, even the drops, man. There's supposed to be like a big patch of Mega Nurids here, though. I'm not getting that right now. Yeah, so it's true that this... Uh Wrath of Enlightenment isn't the exact same 2 times XP. At least that's the way it seems. It's not the exact same 2 times XP as what you would expect. Like, yeah. And the wor worst of all, okay, so we got one level, but worst of all, the Mega Nurus aren't even. We, we were supposed to be already. The cave doesn't look farmed, and it sh I don't think it is, but there was already supposed to be two massive batches of Mega Neura spawns that we're supposed to get. You see, the main idea behind the Swamp Cave is the Mega Neuras. No Mega Neuras, no XP. And unfortunately, the same could be said for the other island. On the cluster I was playing on, there were multiple island maps. So next I took a swing at Extinction, but the result was pretty much the same. Without the 4x note from the map itself, 
these methods were useless. Luckily for me, I had a toilet up my sleeve. Using this, I'd gain a 33% XP boost. Add the broth to that, and I was maximizing my boost potential. I started off by crafting spray painters, but due to their cost, could no longer do any more. And that's exactly when I had stumbled upon a far cheaper solution. Holy, I think when you yeah, when you cross the minty pace, the XP just shoots up. It is boosting. I got A or B going here, I got A or B going here. I got the two times note, I got the toilet XP going. You know we make you, we make you use of everything we have. In the process, I'm also getting a good amount of ARB. Fill up my turrets. Come on. I'm so close. I did not think the strategy would be that effective, but crafting some minty paste actually gives so much XP. Come on, yeah, that's gonna do it. Surely. Yep, come on, there it is, level 100, let's go, let's toss the autos in here, stop crafting ARB, give me my heavies. Nice, I can actually make more autos than what I expected, probably can get more, yeah we can actually get more heavies. Ironically, the key to getting heavies was staring me right in the face this entire time, everything I needed to do it was right back at my base. And now that I had heavies, I felt far safer leaving my base to search for Debili. Little did I know just how unsuccessful I'd actually be. I mean, I searched all the underwater base locations I knew of, all of those on top of land, and yet not a single sign of them. However, there were still those base locations I did not know of. Man, I've searched long and far for this Debili gang. Whoa. Okay, a bunch of foundations. Who do these belong to? NBT. I was really hoping that would have said Debili Gang because I have searched so far. Yeah, this is a different truck. Searched so many different base locations. Unorthodoxed, orthodoxed. No sign of this Debili Gang. There is one cave I have yet to check. It's a very OP cave. One thing I haven't checked out are these islands actually. This is where I believe that cave is that has two entrances that I was talking about earlier. We got some stone foundations. Who from? Big Mac. Raided stone base. Oh, there I see a base. No, this is a totally different tribe. With a very odd base. I reckon I could easily third person C4 raid that. It has nets. Oh, it's him. Okay, so he... Th that's his base, but... I mean, that I can easily, I reckon, like, shoot rockets up if I have time. Okay, he lives here. Oh, there's one guy on a wyvern. Okay. Still no sign. I don't... I mean, I don't have any problems with that tribe. Still no sign of the Billy. Eventually, I got so frustrated, I took the risk of going to the global chat. 
Now I'm gonna have an even bigger X on my back. The survival rate just decreased by a ton. And although I didn't do much to those guys and they've given me every reason to be enemies with them, they're going to be coming off to me much, much harder and faster than before. That being said, that only counts uh, if they're on the server right now online reading chat. You see what he said, Bass? He's out there looking for us. Looks like we're going to have to make a move soon. I was desperate, and little did I know just how immediate the consequences of my actions would be. Ooh, this is interesting. This heavy shot. This one? This one too. Someone was here. Sky base. Are these guys living out of a sky quit so I wonder. I'm gonna top that up with bullets. This one shot too. Something is afoot. This one didn't. I think that one shot, those shot a couple. And this is shot on their first attack? No, but I only put these heavies up as of recent. This wasn't good. It was getting pretty late and someone had made an attempt on my base. So before calling it, I crafted up a few bullets to replace those that had been lost. Okay, sweet. Now the whole base is heavyified. And each heavy has at least 400 bullets, which is 100 shots. Ah, <sighs> not bad. Not bad at all. And I guess I'll start updating these to like 800. Starting with these front ones, because that... The front area is... At least where it seems these guys are attacking from. Whenever they do come. Very sly and coward the way they move though. Only attacking when I'm not around. I don't like it. I have reason to believe they live somewhere in that direction because that's where these turrets start shooting from. However, I shouldn't blind myself to the fact that there is a ramp right here which makes for easy soaking. Why would they even want to try to soak from the back here? It wouldn't make sense. It's so much harder. So, them living in that direction just because these turrets shoot isn't that valid. Of a thesis. It's possible, but not that valid. I'm pretty sure I did check that island over there. So yeah, I even left my wyvern out in the hopes of them maybe sniping it or something, but like they did the last one. But nah, they ain't showing up. It is getting pretty late, so I just. I mean, man, uh, I, I'm happy with the progress we made today. We got heavy turrets. Base is looking good. Did I did a raid? Did two raids actually. Hopefully it will be here when we wake up tomorrow. I'm just a bit concerned because I still don't know where those guys live. It's as if these guys were ghosts. I mean, I had searched long and hard throughout the entirety of the map, and yet not a single sign of them, not a single foundation. I even contacted Global Chat to which no one responded, no one knew where they lived. Like I said, ghosts. However, regardless of my shortcomings when it came to finding these guys, the day was still a massive success. My first successful raid, giving me the profits to upgrade my base and later on reach level 100, allowing me to take those autos and turn them into heavies. A massive upgrade that would give me a far better chance of survival throughout this next offline window. Let's go. Yes, we're still alive. I'm not sure what happened overnight. No. Okay, that's fine. That was the day that we tamed outside that raid. Ah, let's go. 
no one tried to make an attempt on our base. I think my time zone with Dabili is very similar to... Well, their time zone with me. We have very close time zones, it seems. At least that's the idea I'm getting from this. The plan now is just to tame a bunch of female stegos because, well, we have a male stego. We get female stegos going. We're, we're gonna be in business. We are going to be in business. I just need a bunch of tranks. These things are actually super strong. I didn't even realize, but I must have gotten this somewhere. And I've just been chilling here, so I think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna help with taming. It was another day, and I woke up to my base untouched once again. It was starting to look like Debilly and I shared the same offline timer. And as I mentioned, I needed to complete the stego line. Because sure, I didn't know where they lived. But I knew I wanted to be ready for when I did. I was looking like a. If I can get my stego line going, this could be a really good raid target. This was the base I tried to counter earlier. They don't have too many turrets. If I clear that, I'm pretty sure. I think it is 6 6 inside there. Okay. That's actually a really good raid target because if I just have a leveled stego that's imprinted to me, I should be able to rush that wall and survive and make it. Okay. Remember this base? Yeah, the one I failed to raid? Well, it looks like they got some new residents. And I'm not sure about you, but these guys seem to be far more progressed than the older ones living there. However, it ain't a job a stego can't fix. So I got to finishing my line and met an unexpected unicorn. Oh, okay. Knocked out. 4.3. Let's see what it comes out with. 6.2. That's better than the male we have. Perfect. The unicorn I was talking about was this upgrade to the line. So now that I had the stegos I came out for, I began making my way back to base when something had stopped me. Oh, these... Wait, what? These are the same guys that I found yesterday on the pillar, and now they have tick? Holy... They don't have any towers on the outside, so... I mean, to soak, it's not that hard. Just yesterday, I, I I swear I remember that exact, I'm not sure if it's the exact same color wyvern as I saw the last time, but those, I don't, at least they have like a the tribe thing going on. No, but the, the progression they, ha they had was pretty insane. Like I saw three industrial forges. I saw, I saw some insane progression. So it is very possible that they moved into that cave because then again, that cave wasn't taken. Uh, not too long ago when I checked it before that, so... Yeah, I'm okay. Let's just hope those guys don't remember me from yesterday, as I already had enough on my plate. But seeing as I was in the snow, I thought I may as well hit two birds with one stone and grab a snow owl. That way, I'd be completely ready for the raid targets I had found. Yeah, nice. Now they're saddled, so... They'll take way less damage, and then also this doesn't line of sight too much, like if I'm interested in raiding this base, I should already get shot at this point, I should already get shot by the turrets. Maybe here you can argue, you can sneak, but it's gonna be very scuffed still. So this way I'll just like breed my stegos, have them lined up here. In fact, I can push them even closer to the water if I like, but that, that should be fine. Then I can start raising my stegos very nicely. Yeah, beautiful. I guess I'm just waiting to breed then. That's the only thing ready. The only thing stopping me from raiding that base I found was waiting for the stegos to wake up. So I decided to take a short break whilst they did, unaware of the dangers that were lurking. Whilst I was gone, you try to kill Dark Whoop level 82. Hey, Billy! What? 
What? What? They've soaked. Are you. What? Wait, what? Oh, this is going on right now. Oh, hell no. Why even, why even, why even? Okay, I'm first gonna take them away from my base so they can't soak. I don't know where the other one just went. That deals so much damage. Okay, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Do I just drop them in my base? Yeah. I think that's what I have to do. I don't know if I have the bullets for it, but we'll see. No, 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 this is bad. I need to make nets. <clears throat> Do I have the resources for nets? Net. It's so freaking expensive, but I think I can Oh, I think you have to have hard polymer in order to make it, otherwise you can't make it. Like, if I take polymer now, it's not going to count this polymer. Oh, no, it is. Okay, fiber, metal, obsidian. Fiber, wood, metal, obsidian. Net. Need more fiber. Oh, they're on my base. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. My turrets are soaking. Okay, I cannot afford to miss this. Kill them. That's a three man tribe at least. What do I need for more nets? Polymer, metal, obsidian. Nice, we kill this text there go. I need to follow them. After that attempt, they started to retreat, but I was far too late in following. Damn, it honestly pisses me off so much. Like, why they run away? Is, is that all they can do? They just want to offline raid and that's it. Where do these fuckers live man, honestly. Why they come, they offline raid and they leave. Such pussies. There's three of them, I'm a solo. 
Like, what's the point of raiding a solo? Firstly, you have three times the manpower, and you can get far more out of raiding a bigger tribe than raiding some solo. Yet, you go for the solo anyways. Like... Unless there's a pearl cave, I mean, I checked one, two, three... About three pearl caves. Unless there is an underwater cave nearby me that I don't know of. I mean, I'm not even kidding you though. Like, I, when I say I've scouted, I genuinely have scouted so long and far. The good news is, from killing one of them, I understand that they only have primitive flak. The good news is, from killing this stego, I understand. Actually, I didn't even harvest the body. And I understand they only have a primitive saddle. My base is literally- I literally don't have any bullets. I'm gonna set these to medium so they're harder to soak. And then I'll have the ones on the bottom on high. And the ones on the top on medium. So if they want to soak these, then they have- they're forced to push closer. For example, when that guy pushed- when I netted him and he got lit up by the turrets. If he, he had to push closer, he would have been dead right then and there. Let's toss his stego eggs in. I'm going to, like... I don't even think these guys realize how close they were. Horrible. Ooh, that could be the good HP. No, that's the good HP. So this we can use to soak. This we can just keep for breeding. And the first one we destroy. I really am puzzled, but... I think there may be like an underwater cave near my base. They keep on going off in that direction. Now it's confirmed because they didn't hit off in that one, they went to the op total opposite. And now it's confirmed. The jig was up, sort of. You see, at first I thought it was unreasonable to assume that the direction the Debili tribe kept on soaking from was the direction they lived. But coincidence after coincidence? Eventually, that becomes evidence, so I knew that Debili had to live somewhere on this part of the map. However, before I could go out and search for them, I went ahead to get some resources to replace those that I had lost, and before I could even deposit them, they showed up once again. Quick toss out the wyvern. I'll toss you out the wyvern and then I drop the stego here and then I net net the stego. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this turret also on high? I need to craft ARB like now. Because these guys came back so soon, I didn't even get a chance to replace the bullets that had been fired. I took a gunpowder in here, okay. Craft the bullets. Actually, now's my chance. I'm gonna follow them. They're trying to flee. Wait, one, two, three. I think there's four of them. One right here. There we go. Just drain the stickers HP. Yes. I actually should take Megalodons. That's a good shout. I should take Megalodons because those have the bleed effect. LOL! His stego just got wrecked. I'm gonna toss out the wyvern and get that healed up. Because the wyvern's gonna buy me time. Oh, now we are about to dominate these guys. I'm doing all this 
whilst limiting myself to only playing on this map as well. What the hell? After losing their stego, they left. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to follow as I needed to take care of things back at base. But it didn't take them too long either to return. Oh, they're back. I'll have more bullets in my turrets, motherfucker. I'll stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. He's on a crystal, but I won't be able to catch up as easy. I want to see if I can catch him off guard. It looks like he he went over here to go do something. He may be transferring out. This time around, they didn't come for a fight, but it looked like something else. I decided to follow, and it wasn't just one of them, but two. They had another on a Maywing. It looked like they wanted to transfer out, so I decided to give them some space before returning. If that is what they're doing. If the server isn't so laggy. What is this lag? Come on. This bro. This is pissing me off so much right now. Is that a player? Yeah, it is. It's him! It's him! Nice! I got his wife and I knew it! I knew- Oh my god, I got his car! I got a car from them! Let's go! Let's freaking go! I knew it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! Let's go! A car? Well, look at this thing we have! <laughs> Let's go, man! Scumbags. That's what they get. Suck my nuts. We now have a tropical wyvern thanks to them. Yo, we are so getting raided after that. There's no way. Nah, there's no way they're not coming back. Like, after losing all that. Nah, they I'm done. These guys are gonna... Yeah, it's over for your boy. Nice knowing you. I just had to, though. I just had to. I knew it. I knew they were transferring out. Just judging by the way they were moving. That game sense, man. That game sense. You know, we just... We did what we needed to do. Now we have a car, which is going to help us defend greatly. So if I was fucked before, I don't know what the hell I was now. Debili had not failed yet another two attempts to raid me, but also had lost an extremely valuable tame, the car. To me it was two valuable tames as the Crystal Wyvern, although not as rare, because I was restricting myself to Lost Island and Lost Island alone, it meant the only way I could get that tame was through raiding and fighting. I knew now that this try would stop at nothing to get rid of me. It was simply a matter of time. I knew now if I wanted to survive, I needed to move elsewhere. The problem was because of those two raid attempts, I was now dirt broke on resources, meaning the base locations I could move into were limited. Taking into account I could only choose Lost Island base locations because of the challenge, and my options only became less. However, there was a silver lining. You remember that raid target I found? If I could pull it off before Debili's next attack, I'd have the resources to move into a much better base location. Where that better base location was, and whether or not I could pull off this raid in time, well, only time will tell. If you did go on to enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and sub, and check out my second channel for even more art content.